Professional man sitting at his desk taps a button on his watch and hears. And Arashi gets up, takes down the backdrop that was used for his video conferences, sits down again, unbuttons his suit jacket, and takes off his tie, unknots it, places the tie on his desk before him. He then gets up and brings in a rack of clothes from the other room and places the rack where the backdrop was behind his chair. Left of his desk, he removes the container and in tray from the top shelving unit and places the items in the small filing cabinet just left of the shelving unit. He takes off his suit jacket and hangs it on the clothing rack, loosens the top button of his shirt, preparing to do some administration work. He takes the tie on the desk and turns around and hangs it on the clothing rack behind him. He then hurries back to his desk, clearing unnecessary items away. He sits down facing his desk again and leans towards the floor and brings up a soft rectangle pouch and unpacks it and assembles a scanner to read the documents on his desk. then attaches the scanner to his laptop before him, types on his computer to set up the scanner, and he then swings left in his chair and scrolls to his filing cabinet looking for a particular file folder. Finds it, then swings back at his desk with his left arm in the filing cabinet and with his right hand grabs the document laying on his desk, then files it to the appropriate folder. Then looks through his in-tray in the top filing cabinet and finds a letter, opens the envelope, takes out the document out, throws the envelope away in the trash to the right of him, and then lays the document underneath the scanner for reading. Then starts typing on his computer to scan the document, then takes the document and swings left to his filing cabinet and lays the document underneath the in-tray. He gets up and grabs a braille slate and stylus from the top shelf and then sits down again and prepares to scan the document to notarize. He opens the slate into two sections and places the document and wedges the slate to the paper and then uses the stylus. Creates a braille by marking dots through the holes on the slate to the document. Grabs the real document with a hanging file folder, finds the appropriate place in the filing cabinet and files the documents. Takes another folded letter from the in-tray and lays it in front of the scanner to be read. Then swings back to the filing cabinet looking for the appropriate folder to file and the scan document. He sorts through his inbox again, finds an envelope which looks like junk mail and throws it to the trash beside his desk. Gets up, grabs the in-tray and container and places the items on the top shelf again, then sits down and takes the keys loosely hanging on the lower filing cabinet door and diligently trying to find the right key to lock the filing cabinet. Finally finds the right key and locks the filing cabinet. Stands up to check the top shelf, then sits down and takes the keys left in the filing cabinet and puts them in his pocket. Starts typing in on the computer. Ben Fulton, a blind crime fighting advocate promoting justice, fairness, and equality. Call us today at 647-546-0145 or email bfulton at benlaw.ca or go to our website at www.benlaw.ca. Thank you.